Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allamtani ve allimni bima yinfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke entel alimul hakim. My topic today is about the differential diagnosis of growing mass, common and less common causes with a clues to diagnosis in common and less common causes with some examples. The common causes include inguinal hernia, femoral hernia, hematoma of the abdominal wall, pseudoaneurysm, and inguinal lymphadenopathy and other masses, and varicocele. The less common causes include cryptochism, aneurysm, ileosaurus persitis, and bone tumor, abdominal wall abscess, and soft tissue tumor. The key for differential diagnosis, most growing masses are easily diagnosed in, on a clinical examination alone. A typical or unusual mass should have ultrasound or CT investigation. Ultrasound be, uh, best for vascular and male reproductive causes like cryptochism and varicocele. CT or MRI for good for musculoskeletal lesions such as bursitis, bony tumor. Ultrasound guided aspiration or biopsy useful for abscesses in your res respectively. Helpful clues for common causes. Inguinal hernia can be direct or indirect, defined by a relation to the inferior epigastric vessels. It extends anterior to the pubic tubercle and femoral vessels, rarely compress the femoral vein. Bowel, including appendix, may be trapped in the hernia. Sonography and CT may be helpful, but a clinical diagnosis usually suffices. As we see here in axial CT scan, inguinal hernia on the right side, and it is anterior to the pubic tubercle, and it is not compressing the femoral vessels, the artery here and the vein. And this hernia containing only fat. Femoral hernia, it is originates medial and often compress the femoral vein, extend lateral to the pubic tubercle, more likely to become incarcerated. As we see here in this coronal CT scan image, we see a soft tissue mass, incarcerated hernia, femoral hernia with proximal uh, bowel obstruction. Hematoma often result from catheterization of femoral artery or vein, and it should show no enhancement on CT or flow ultrasound. As we see here, axial CT scan at the level of our thigh, it shows large soft tissue mass on the right side, resulting from the AV fistula for revision, surgical revision of AV fistula for the lysis. And this hematoma also, there is no, no enhancement and there is active bleeding in this area.
pseudo aneurysm it is potential complication of angiography key is doppler ultrasound with turbulent flow treat with compression or thrombin injection aneurysm of femoral artery usually more cylindrical and has endothelial lining as we see here in sagittal color doppler ultrasound yin yang uh, or two and four flow of blood within the spherical common femoral artery pseudo aneurysm resulting from uh, cardiac catheterization Inguinal lymphadenopathy, it is common and non-specific site of enlarged lymph nodes and usually mobile and easily distinguishing from hernia by clinical examination. As we see here, axial CT scan, heterogeneous enhancing mass uh, in the right side of the groin and it is found to be metastatic uh, sequimus carcinoma. Varicocele can extend to into in, inguinal canal, as in cases of hydrocele, and it is characteristic venous flow patterned on ultrasound, accentuated during Valsalva maneuver. As we see here, the sagittal color doubler ultrasound with the classic tortuous vessels in the right upper scrotum extended to the right inguinal region with, with accentuated with the Valsava maneuver. Here we see this patient uh, to soft tissue, a uh, white soft tissue mass lesion in the right inguinal ring. It is consistent with uh, with uh, undescending testis in this patient. And here, this is a spermatic cord. And here we see axial CT scan, and there is a fluid collection at the right iliosaurus muscle at near its inception. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Hoping to see you soon in another topic.